Oh yeah, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, calculating what you need on the final exam to pass the course or to get a certain grade you want and using this final exam calculator.com which I created actually um, a year ago. I'll, I'll just uh, go to this site. Okay, one sec. Let's drag this in here. Final exam. Well, it's final exam calculator.com. Yeah, so this is the site I made. So basically this is what it is. So you have um, this field here. This is basically how to use it. So you can go there and what you could do is, let's say you had three assignments. We can just add three. And what you do, let's say you had, um, say 25, uh, let's say 20 out of, let's say 25. And this was your percent would be, this is this percent of the course, this is how much is it worth overall. And this should be, let's, let's just say 15. And this one here, we'll just say, I'll just make up a number, 35. And this one we could say 43. And this we'll, we'll just pick, I don't know, uh, another 15. Oops, 15. And then the, the third assignment we could just say we got 30 out of 40 and it's worth 20%. So if you add those up, 30, 15, plus 15 is 30, you get 50%. And this one is if you already know what you have in the final, you could do this. I'll do an um, example after. So let's say the weight of the finals were 50%. So make sure that these two add up. This is 50 and this 50. So that's 100% of the class. And let's say you want 80%. So what do you need to get 80%? Well, all you do is uh, type that in and then press calculate. Then as, as you can see here, to get 80, you need 81. And to pass, what I have for pass is just to get above 50%. So you'll have to tailor that if it's different uh, for yours. Uh, and so basically, yeah, so they're 81.58, and that's what you need to pass. It's just 21. It, but some courses, you obviously need more than 50% to pass, but this is just to get over 50 based on strictly numerical methods. Well, let's say, uh, well, I'll show you the calculation this actually does. I'll v we'll verify this one, 81.58. So we had uh, three assignments. Okay, so one is where one we got 20 out of 25, and this is 15%. And then this is, let's say, one. I'm just going to verify it's all right. And this one is, what is this one? 35 over 43, and, we, and this is also 15%. And then this one here, three. Okay, so, and then the last one we had 30 out of 40. And this was uh, 20%. So notice that these add up to 50. Uh, add up to 50. And way to final, we had a final equals 50%. So then, uh, yeah, this adds up to 100. Must add up to 100. If it doesn't, then you'll just have to um, uh, basically use your judgment of, of what you would need because it would be just different. Well, I have it based for 100%. Uh, I must add up to 100% of the class. Okay, so th what, uh, what it does, this is how it basically calculates. You'll have, let's say, so this is basically the overall equation you, that uh, you would use. You just go 25 over 20 over 25 times 15%. Uh, we don't even need the 15, but yeah, we'll just leave it there. So plus uh, 35 over 43 times 15. You don't need to put a percent. We'll just assume it's all percent. Uh, plus 30 over 40 times 20. And then, then what you need, this one is plus X. X is what you need. This is your uh, final grade. This is... Um, what you need, what you need times by 50. That's the percent, and then it has to equal to all 80. So basically, we're just like kind of a weighted average. So this is, let's say 50 out of 15%, we only got this fraction of it. If it was 25 or 25, we would get a full 15. But So this is basically a fraction of that. And then basically, you would uh, s separate well, what the equation does, it basically puts it x by itself. So we'll what what you could what you do is just move move this there and move this inside so we'll have all this stuff so we'll just uh I'll just put it in here 
I'll just um, put it in. Okay, so yeah, I just put that in there quickly, and um, so th then this would so I, I put the at basically minus eighty, minus eighty on both sides. I break drag it there, and this one would just equal to, yeah, then this would just equal to negative <coughs> x times fifty. And uh, this negative, it does you run out, and then yeah, so basically divide the fifty out, and you'll basically just say divide fifty out here. Divide 50, divide 50, and then this cancels. And also the negative, uh, this will be a negative number. So we'll just put a negative here. And then make this positive. We're just dividing by negatives. And because this is 80, this will usually be bigger. And this will make it a negative number. So uh, we'll just put in a calculator and uh, you'll see what it gets. So basically this whole thing divided by 50. I'll just put in a calculator. Alright, so I'll just uh, here, let's go to the Google calculator. We can just go right... You know, just go Google search calculators so when I show the other video how to use it. You could just go uh, write it exactly how this is written. I'll just uh, write it over here. So we got this. So we'll just go, uh, let's go negative 20 over 25 times 15 plus 35, 43 times 15 plus 30 by 40 times 20 all minus 80 bracket divided by 50 and then equals so there you go at point 0.185 so this basically yeah this is uh this is in fractions so this would be yeah 81.5 so yeah that's uh, that's that's the answer this is uh, in fractions so you'll get this is equal to 0.8158 or 81.58% and then if we go back to this we'll just click it back here what we had actually is there so minimum is uh, yeah this is 81.5 and this one is if we were to make this equal to 50 instead we'll just go 50 50% this is a, an arrow to pass. And this one, we, we would just get 21.5. We just solved the exact same thing. But taking the 80, make, we'll just do that right here. We'll just uh, say this was 50 instead. So we just go here. This was 50. So 21.58. And as you could see, that's just 21.58. And another thing you could do is, let's say you already know what you have. If you already know what you're going to the final with, which is... We'll just erase the assignments. You don't need the assignments. So what we do is let's say we were getting before the exam we're getting let's say eighty percent, and the way to the final is fifty again. Let's say we want ninety or eighty-five. Let's go eighty-five. So to get eighty-five, we would get we would need ninety percent, and this would be the same method there, except we wouldn't need the assignments. So this one instead of having all this. We'll just have for if we wanted to get if we just if we knew we had eighty say we had eighty, and this is times basically by because it's a, because the weight of the final is fifty this will just be fifty percent, so this is uh point eight let's go point eight, or eighty out of a hundred and then plus again plus x times fifty equals to eighty five then we just solve for x the same way we did here and then we will we would get ninety percent for x. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully you learned how to use this calculator. It's really helpful. It's um, the qu this equation is simple, but if you want to like, you know, it's, it's just much quicker and more convenient than actually having to, having to solve it because this one I've tested all. It's it's correct. So, well, thanks for uh, tuning in, and hopefully uh, you enjoyed. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.